All right, so I got a, uh, a little pickup here. Um, I've been waiting for this all day, and uh, well, I didn't think I was going to get it today because of how late it was, but it just came. And unfortunately, the guy who freaking delivered to, it to me dropped it. So I hope it works. Shouldn't shouldn't be a problem unless he kicked it up here or something. So hope all's well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite. This is it. Here it is. And what it really is is this: the Nvidia Shield tablet. Really looking forward to this. Actually, when it first came out, I was along with a bunch of people who thought it was worthless and pointless and all that shit. But after reading more about it and stuff, I was like, you know what? I don't think that's so fucking useless as I thought it would be. Although I still do wish it would have been an updated portable device. But I figured this could actually replace my Nexus 7 2013. Um, and, you know, I could game on it, I have HDMI out, all those things that I wish that the Nexus 7 had. It's a great tab, the Nexus 7 is a great tablet, but this has the, uh, micro SD, uh, between, it streams to Twitch, that's awesome. Um, not that I do that that much, every now and then I do, but that's a really cool feature, and the gameplay thing, recording gameplay and all that. And apparently it's capable of running GameCube games. Uh, properly, with maybe a few hiccups, but uh, I've seen Mario Kart uh, Double Dash running on that, which I never played that until a few months ago. Uh, I think the first Mario Kart, because I used to think that uh, kart games were stupid because they were cartoony, which didn't make any sense because I liked Sonic the Hedgehog, so it was totally stupid. But I guess I played racing games and they were normally more quote-unquote adult-like uh, racing games. And I thought, like, kart games were dumb. And then I said, you know what, they kind of look fun, let me try one. I tried Mar Mario Kart Wii was actually the first one I played. Um, and uh, I played it online. I really liked the online portion of the new Mario Kart games. But, um, you know, it lacks the drift stuff, and you know, I guess unless you're playing with, uh, fire, no. you're playing, um, not manual, wait, no, manual and not automatic, I'm lazy, I use automatic, but, uh, then I played Double Dash, and I was like, wow, this is so much better, <laughs> at least the single player is, is awesome, uh, multiplayer on the Wii is, of course, gone, and here we go, the NVIDIA Shield tablet, there's also a, uh, game, Another thing that, that made me want to purchase this, there's a gamepad that's coming out soon. It's, um, it basically, you, you put the tablet in the gamepad thing. It's a separate housing, like, uh, what's that thing? I don't know. There, there's a tablet out there that has a Tegra, ugh, Tegra 3. And it, uh, you put it, it comes with a gamepad, but this is just a separate gamepad. Think about using that, and this is the NVIDIA Shield tablet, 8 inch, was it 8.1 or 8, don't remember, and I've been waiting for this for two days, it was kind of crazy, you order from the NVIDIA, it really just like it takes forever, but uh, yeah, there it is, I already got the uh, screen, got some fingerprints on it, duh does have some uh, nice thickness to it. Um, but it doesn't feel bad and they got the stylus thing, the stylus, which is cool because I used to draw a lot, even though I wasn't that good, but, you know, I used to draw all those stupid Dungeons and Dragons stuff. This is the stylus. I'd like to, ugh, I'd like to break stuff. No, I'd like to uh, put this down before I drop it. 
Uh, I like to try to draw some stuff. I've been wanting to do that, so this would be cool if you know if it actually works better than those uh, those other stylus things. I just want to see. Actually, that that's not too bad. It's better than those stupid round head things. Whatever. I tried using those for drawing. They suck. But this seems like it would work. So that's cool. Let's see how web browsing is and all that crap. Put that back. I'm not putting it back right. How do I put this back? Oh, it goes in like this. There you go. So let's turn this on. I think that's power. There it is. We get a little juice in there. And it comes out of the box. The uh, power brick. Oh, I'm forgetting the wrong place. The power brick is uh, the same basic power brick that you get with the uh, the NVIDIA Shield Portable. It comes with adapters. Uh, I get a little manual that I'll never read. They're just there because people want a manual. And you get the, you know, another charging cable. And uh, here are the adapters here. Uh, well, actually, an adapter. An adapter. Okay, so it's one adapter. So now I'm told I have to set this up. So I will be right back because there, this involves personal information and all that crap. So yeah. All right. So uh, I got this all set up now. I got it uh, uh, updated. I put all my personal information in and updated all the apps and everything. So I've got that working. Um, also figured out how to access uh, full screen mode because every time I see someone playing a game it's always running uh, with the back home and recent apps button and that kind of concerned me but it seems fine um, so I guess all the sounds have been updated because it was running that stupid clicky noise that I always get on Android devices like t -t -t -t. now it has a ticky kind of metal you know, like, tick noise kind of thing, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, that's, this is the Shield tablet. What I gotta, one thing I gotta say about this is, in a negative way, even though the screen isn't terrible, it's, it was very disappointing. It has kind of really bad viewing angles. Um, I was, in, in certain ways, when you move it, it gives, like, a haze. It's, it's not horrible, there's nothing, you know, but it's just, I have a the old Nexus, uh, not the old Nexus, the Nexus 7 2013, and that one has a, a great screen, um, better than this, but this is still not a bad screen or anything like that, it's just, it was a little disappointing. I thought it was going to be better than the uh, Nexus 7, but it is not. Um, so yeah, we get your apps here, we got trying to there. Um, we have the uh, streaming capabilities. Here is the share button, so I can stream this to my Twitch account. Which I once I sweat, bleh, once I set this up, I also am already aware of how to root the device. So I will be posting a video on how to root the uh, Nvidia Shield tablet. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Also, some for some reason, apparently, uh, Miracast is actually hidden um, here, I think. Let me see. Maybe it's not. Maybe the people didn't know where to look for it. Well, so far, I don't see that. Um, let's check any HDMI. Maybe it's in here. Nope. Not here. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, for some reason, um, Miracast is not actually mentioned anywhere here. Let me see. No, it's not there. Advanced. Nope. So yeah, but it is available. You can. You have to pull up a widget for some reason. This settings widget, and then select Miracast, or it won't actually be able to give you the Miracast. Uh, option for some reason. I don't know if it seems like a bug or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, let me turn up the volume here and uh, 
Let me just pull up YouTube and try to maybe play some something. I'm set up with my uh, my other account that I don't use. That's just uh, my bullshit account. Let's see about getting some heavy metal going. Um, let's see. Life. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Well, I accident. I must have fat fingered N. Yes, there is a band called Satan. And they kick ass. So, let's see if. That's all the way up. Uh, let's lift it. Huh. Yeah, speakers are definitely not as loud as the last one. Uh, I kind of didn't expect them to be because of the way the speakers are set up. Okay. But uh, not a problem for me. <laughs> um, yeah, the speakers are definitely nicer on the uh, old uh, Shield handheld. Um, but that that's all right. Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so we got that. That's the speakers. I'm going to mod this thing. Camera looked really nice. I, ch I accidentally launched it. It actually didn't look bad. Uh, let me try the, uh, you know, the, the other stuff, the stuff that nobody cares about. You know. Yes, I know. I took out the stylus. Um, what was the one that that they said was good? Let's just go to the Nvidia Dabbler app. I think that's the one. So, I got you ready. Um, I don't know, I guess this. So, gotcha. How do you like my terrible handwriting? It's wonderful, isn't it? My terrible handwriting is wonderful. Do that. Get out of there. Worked really well. I like this thing. Um, yeah, so there's that. We'll launch trying to play it with the touch controls or whatever. In full screen. This time around or something. I mean, I can do a, a comparison between this and the PS4 version. I don't have a PS3. Apparently this runs the same graphical effects as the PS3, so and it seems to take forever to load or something. Trying to. This is a really good game. I like this one. Yeah, focus. Focus camera. I'm not exactly watching you, so you better stay focused, damn it. Okay. Okay. Hit settings. No 3D effects. <laughs> Audio, language, not much there. Uh, single player, multiplayer, safe. So I just. I don't know. There you go. Once upon a time, there were three valiant heroes chosen by a magical artifact called. The Trine. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've heard another tale of how they met. Let me tell you a story of their latest adventure. Something mysterious and magical was taking place in the forest. Okay, we'll skip that and just play the damn game. First Ooh, of the three heroes was Amadeus, the wizard. Amadeus. Come on. Amadeus the wizard was asleep. Oh, that's how they, okay. So, 
special controls seem good if you have to use them. Right now I don't have the controller because uh, I'm having trouble getting it. Yes, very strange. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, get on there. Damn you. That's yeah, fairly easy to play. Um, Half the head was blocked, but this wouldn't stop the great wizard Amadeus. With his magic, he could lift. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. I can just pull it right down. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, that's that's trying to. That's a really fun game. So let me just. Go back to the main menu and stuff. So the touch controls really actually work well. So that's that's a good thing. <laughs> if you have to use them, that's, that's not bad. Um, just let's get out of the game. So yeah, uh, there are other games on here. Of course, there's Half Life Two. Uh, go to the Nvidia Shield. Um, store thing here or whatever the um, what do you call it now the hub <laughs> controller compatible apps we have you know some stuff we have uh, Half-Life 2 Portal Leo's Fortune is awesome there should be some other games in here that are uh, a little bit more on the uh, What's the word? Exclusive side. They're like PC ports uh, that are exclusive to this specific device. Hmm. What's that? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we'll get into this. And then you have the Grid app. You can uh, stream from the Grid. I have this set up with my PC, so. Um, PC streaming is set up, I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> and, yeah. Fun, fun. <laughs> so, I'm trying to see, is there anything? Huh, Modern Combat 4 is in here, but not 5. The most popular. Get that, 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 and that. Okay, so I'm going to set this up with some games. I'm going to do some gameplay. I'm going to try out the streaming. I'm going to show a, a tutorial on how to root the device, and my battery is dying. Thank you for watching.